Okay, Kim, what are you doing? Uh, I'm plastering the walls right now. Now tell me, what's in this plaster? It's a uh, one part clay and mud. The uh, mixture that we made, one part sand and uh, some lime. So we made a mixture first out of one part earth, one part clay and one part straw. The straw is important. Yes. And then we that mixture, we added one part of that mixture with one part sand and half a part of lime and this is the stuff that you get out of it. Now we're doing, how many layers do you normally need when you're plastering? Three layers. That's right Kim. What's the first layer that we're doing now? We're just filling in the gaps right now, the big holes right now. That's right, the lath layer. Go and show us how it's done. Yep. You just take a bit and you just throw it. Brilliant. Perfect shot. Well, I can see Kim, Kim you've been practicing. Pull over, Kim. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Do you see what she's doing? She's filling all the big, bat, big blumps. And then once you've done in the big gaps, the lath layer also, you do the gaps all the way between the bags like this you see so it ends up yeah. being like this yeah. that's layer one then why don't you just for the fun of it show us layer two this hasn't dried normally you must wait for it to dry at least a day or two preferably a week before you start the second layer but we'll pretend this is dry show us the second layer can you come this side it's a bit sunnier so people can see on the sunny part smear it on no, you don't. And make, it hold. <laughs> make some holes no, keep, on it. Yeah, make holes in it. Throw it on, though. Keep throwing it on. Because if you throw it on, it sticks better. Okay? So keep throwing it. Do one more for us. Keep throwing all the way. She's just getting some more plaster now. Whoops, sorry, Kim. Here we are. Here she comes with the plaster. Oh, great. Nice. Huh? Oh, you see that? And she's dimpling it. And why do we dimple it? To get that extra grip for the third layer. Perfect, she's on it. You don't use wires here? No! Why don't we use wires, Kim? Tell me what happens when we use wires, especially in this climate. Uh, Corrosion! The, no, no the, listen. There's going to be a different rate of expansion and contraction, so the the wires, it's not really going to hold the whole structure up. That's right. They, the, what we found is, what I found is the clay is expanding um, when it's, uh, when the, when in the winter times, we have a terribly floody winters here. The clay expands, but the chicken wire doesn't. In the summer, the clay contracts and the chicken wire doesn't. And the whole lot gets baggy and falls off. Oh. You don't need the wire. Why bother? It's, it's just, I, I had to take all my chicken wire off and start again without it. So there we are, that's your second layer. Nice grip um, Kim's created there. And so on the third layer, you just smooth over the top. When, but you can't do that now really, because it's not hard, it won't really show. Perfect, thank you very much.